Welcome to Two Ninjas and a Book. Stories for kids. No adults allowed. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ninjas and a Book. So it's just Mummy Ninja and Henry today. Say hi Henry. Hi. How's your day Henry? You feeling good? Yes. Yes? Yes. You excited to read a book? Yes. Now Henry, what are we reading today? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. You love Peppa, don't you? Yes. Is she your favourite? Yes. Now, what Peppa Pig book are we reading today? Peppa on Space. Peppa in Space? Yes. Yes. Oh, so where do you think Peppa's going? Moon. To the moon. All right. Well, let's see. Right. Let's get started. It was Space Day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends were very excited. Does anyone know what space is? asked Madame Gazelle. Space is a physical universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere, said Edmund Elephant. Edmund was a bit of a clever clox. That's right, Edmund, said Madame Gazelle. And today we are going to be talking about something you find in space. The moon, shouted all the children. Yes, says Madame Gazelle. Can I live on the moon? asked Danny Dog. It is possible, replied Madame Gazelle, but you would need to take oxygen, water and a lot of other things with you. Can you jump in muddy puddles on the moon? asked Peppa. No, said Madame Gazelle. There's no rain to make puddles. What can you do on the moon then? asked Peppa. You'll find it out, says Madame Gazelle, because today we are going to the moon, shouted Pedro Pony. Not exactly, said Madame Gazelle. We're going to the Space Museum. Ah, sighed the children. At the museum, you will train to be astronauts, said Madame Gazelle, and you'll see what it is like to walk on the moon. Wow, gasped the children. Miss Rabbit arrived to take everyone to the Space Museum. Really? We should be going in a moon buggy, says Danny, not a bus. How long until we get there? asked Peppa. As long as it takes you to finish your apple, replies Miss Rabbit. I finished my apple, says Susie Sheep. Does that mean we're there? How about we sing a song for Miss Rabbit, suggested Madame Gazelle. Something like, but before Madame Gazelle could finish, all the children started to sing. We're going to the moon. We're going to get there soon. And they sang it to Miss Rabbit all the way to the museum. When they arrived at the museum, the children were met by a real astronaut, Grampy Rabbit. Hello there, fellow astronauts, he boomed. Our space training mission today will take us to the moon. The ride may be bumpy, but it will be worth it when you get to see what it is like to walk on the moon. Hooray, cried the children. The children put on their special spacesuits and boots as quickly as they could. It is time to hop aboard our spacecraft, called Grumpy Rabbit when they were ready. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off, cheered all the little astronauts together. Grumpy Rabbit and the children zoomed on their training mission. On the way to the moon, Grampy Rabbit told the children about the different planets in the solar system. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and the dwarf planet Pluto, he said. Robots have landed on Mars but no one else has done so yet. George was listening very carefully. Mars, he whispered to himself. Bump! We have landed on the moon, says Grampy Rabbit. Now, my little astronauts, it is time for you to see what it is like to walk on the moon. Just take one small step out of the spacecraft and one Peppa and her friends all took giant leaps out of the spacecraft wearing Grumpy Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. Whee! The children had so much fun bouncing up and down with their anti-gravity rubber bands. They sang a song over and over again. We listen to a space tune. We're walking on the moon. Wow, gasps Peppa, bouncing over Madame Gazelle's head. 
Walking on the moon is great, but jumping up and down on it is even better. It's time to get back down to earth now, children, called Grampy Rabbit. Aww, sighed the children. When they arrived back on earth, the children were sad. Remember, children, your adventure isn't really over, said Grampy Rabbit. It's just beginning. If you keep training, you can all be real astronauts like me one day. Yay! We're going to the moon, sang the children. And they sang it on the bus all the way back to playgroup. Space is amazing, Daddy, said Peppa that night. I want to be an astronaut so I can jump up and down on the moon every day. But George had his sights on somewhere else. Mars, he whispers. Aw, says Daddy Pig. Are you going to be the first piggy on Mars, George? George nodded his head and smiled. That night... George dreamt that he had gone into space with Pepper and they were the first little piggies ever to jump up and down on Mars. Wow, Henry. Was that exciting? Yes. Did you like that book? Yes. What what was your favourite part? Um, When Pepper goes in space. Goes in space and jumps on the moon? Yes. Yeah, it's a cool book, isn't it? All right, well, say bye to the boys and girls. Bye! Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you on the next episode.